Ooh. What's pop? Greetings, younglings. Oh, that is that is that is deadly. Don't do that. Do not do that. Yes, that is my leg. Hi guys. So, guess who started YouTube? <laughs> I am very excited to finally have a YouTube account and to finally kick some goals and start it because I've been wanting to do this since I was literally 13 years old and the fact that I've started now is just it's a milestone for me so for my first video we're going to be doing a bit of a weekly vlog and I wanted to do a weekly vlog because I've got quite a bit on this week and I really want to show you guys what I'm doing what I get up to in between things just my regular life currently journaling actually because today is the 22nd of the 2nd of 2022 and that's a beautiful angel number this is gonna be my first ever video which i'm very excited about i don't know if i should be looking in there in the camera like actual lens or like in the viewfinder because like i don't know what i watch when i watch other people do you know what i mean my youtube is going to be just as much as i share on tiktok and instagram it's going to be more in depth you're going to get to know me a bit better you know, I only really show obviously the good clips on TikTok. I show very much edited type videos of me getting ready. And you don't hear me talking as much on a more casual basis. And I guess YouTube is going to be this place, this space for you to see that. It will also be a place where longer videos will exist, bigger things, more holes, a lot of vlogs. So a lot more talking from me, which I'm sure you guys will absolutely adore. <laughs> Uh, is the fit check yep we chose the by far bag do you guys want to see my cat I know you want to see my cat hello are you in the bush so I'm currently just waiting for Georgia to come get me and we will be off to Chadston pretty big Guys, guys, George is um, currently getting her phone fixed. Look, she literally has the 13 and there's this random like yellow bar at the bottom of her phone. Anyway, so I'm currently sitting in Apple waiting for her, but she said I can go off and go on my own. This is my first time vlogging in public. <laughs> Who's that? I brought it with me if we go to 7-Eleven. Guys, Georgia brought a coffee pot. It's vanilla. Hmm. Mmm. So I've got a few things on this week and I really wanted to document it with you guys. So today is Tuesday. I need to go get some uni work done. And then tomorrow's Wednesday, I've got uni. And then I've got a beautiful meeting with my Safina girls. Then I have an event type pop-up store with Henny. Oh, tonight I've got a beautiful dinner with my girlfriends at Entrecot on Thursday. What's Thursday? Thursday I've got uni again and then I have a nice dinner with my girlfriend M. And then Friday I've got a beautiful event on in the morning at Harold's. And I'm very excited to show you guys what that is because I'm very excited to attend. Having a cute little party on Saturday, get together. And yeah, I'm very excited. I've got Byron coming up soon. I've got Melbourne Fashion Week got so much to talk to so much to share so much to show i'm very excited to start youtube if you can't tell okay so i've been doing uni work hello oop and my mum just yelled at me and she was like ava there's a big parcel at the door we're gonna go check it out <laughs> um omg this is a big box <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Like this is huge. And I don't and I don't want to open it yet. I need to make a TikTok about it. So I'm gonna go do that. Maybe this could be my what's it called? My Honestly, I'm having 
how I drive mountain functions. I want to be ready so I can get content before I have to leave. But no, Ava has other plans. Other, you know what, it is, it is a me issue because I want to wear this corset, okay? But I can't find pants. Finally found an outfit. I'm currently taking some Panadol because I feel like I have a headache coming on. Let me show you the outfit real quick. The background isn't that nice. But we have Henny brown pants. Really dark brown, so you can't even tell that they're brown. Brown pants, my RQ label corset, slides, and then on the brown. Peace and power. Kisses. Hi guys, so we've currently got our entrees. Erin's Aaron's got her tartare, her beef tartare. Is it beef? Mm -hmm. And then Miss Nicola has her prawns. Mm. King prawns. King prawns. Kristen has the tartare again. I have the. Oh, and I, ooh, I have the scallops. Oh, Ladies do have the scallops as well. And then we have some oysters, but I'm not having them because um, I don't know. Um, the ambiance captured here. Very beautiful ambiance. Um, the, the lads on tour. <laughs> we now have our mains. Erin has the fish, the salad. Nicola has also the fish. Kristen has a beautiful chicken. <laughs> oh, I have the steak fritz. Toria and Jordana both have steak fritz and Miss Amelia Doggin. YouTube. Really? Really? Cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know it was very cute. I just thought they were Here's all the gals. Let's get the Her. Hey everyone, quick intermission. It's me at Entrecote. Um, oh, this is Kristen, by the way. Can you know taste test? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Cheers. I'm gonna go head off to Zafino, the Zafino office. Gonna go see my gals. I love visiting them every single time I ever go in. They're just They're my best friends If you think it's just a work Situ with them. It's not they've become my best friends the mum Mindy and the two sisters Zara and Paris. They're all my biffles now. It's also so special because it doesn't usually happen unless you get the ability to meet sort of people in this company, in this this industry. And because they're local to me, like obviously it's more of an ability to, but like growing with them, watching them grow, being able to achieve so many things with them and just continuing on a relationship on both ends of it all was just unreal. I'm gonna go do some fit checks and peace out. Kisses. Mm. Oh, it's kind of warm. Oh well. Um, so now I'm going to go get in the car. Hopefully I can convince, convince the girls to have lunch with me. Okay, so I've just parked. So I'm going to go head in. I don't know who's there. I think it's Mindy and I don't know if there's Zara or Paris is there. Um, see you guys in there probably. Hey guys. <laughs> Quiet in the theatre, thank you. Um, so... I feel like I can't do this on my own. Hey y'all. I'm gonna be editing this, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so we're currently just in the works of some meetings. Mindy, say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Big things coming. So exciting. Just, you might see um, some things soon. Wait, wait, hit, hit. Okay, Miss Paris, so she should be here, yeah. but she's in Mornington or whatever doing some jobs, but. So I just got home from my Safino meetings. <gasps> I don't think you guys understand how excited I am right now. Zoe! <gasps> what are you doing? Ah, uh, come back here. I got two very special parcels from With Harper Lou. Getting deliveries from her before and now I still don't change the way it excites me. I just get so amped up and rival. Like, I don't even know how excited. Like, I just love receiving stuff from her. So, I have to leave for my Henny like pop-up launch thing soon. It's around, starting around 6-ish, so I'll get there around 6.30, I guess. I have it in, um, have it in pink, but my beautiful ladies got me it in green, so I can always be repping with Harpaloo 
no matter the occasion this is unreleased brand new new to the game best brand i've ever worked with honestly okay so with harpaloo have come out with a t-shirt and i'm just obsessing over this design so kind of sick right because it has a tinge of green and yellow in it with the stems of the flowers so this is my by far bag and then we have my balenciana and this would tie in really well with my naked advice slides let me just can you see me <laughs> goes with everything louis vuitton croissant bag and that would just look like that my new oraton bag green gives it this extra like pop to it and it still goes with the black shoes Getting ready for you. Um, this is what I currently look like. I need to do my hair and like a tiny bit of makeup really quickly, and then yeah, then I'll be off to uni. I only have one class today. I will then be getting home after the one class and doing content work and emails and other uni work that I need to get done. I realized that I didn't show you guys after the Henny pop-up warehouse sale, like what happened? And what happened was we went there, it was so chill, like got in there, got to pick out what I wanted and then it opened today, today's Thursday. And so it opened today at 7 a.m. and I need to show you guys what I got. Okay, so I'm literally wearing a top from the Henny warehouse sale right now. Looks like this. It's just a butter colour and it's a nice knit ribbed top. There's two bags. So, oh, but first let's go with Haney. So, this is a beautiful blue singlet top that I got from their new launch, but in white. But this is a really beautiful, like, marbly blue. Got this brown khaki ish long sleeve top. It's like this knitted. Yeah, it's brown, but it's got a khaki tinge to it and it's knitted. It's got like a nicer kind of higher neck. So that will be good for winter. I wore this top today and I noticed there's like deodorant lines on the sides. But this is the same top I'm wearing now, but in navy. Really soft material. Uh, ribbed, thick knit, cami sort of singlet. That's what it looks like. It's like a beigey cream kind of colour. And then for pants... The ones that I got recently from Henny, um, this dark, like, grey, kind of greeny tone. They had the beige tone in store. So these are, like, the work kind of, like, blazer-type pants. Really cool top um, of a pant there. Then I got the famous leather pants. These are in, a, like, an olive olive tone love these little pants these are my favorite go-to little pants of all time i have them in creamy beige brown and now olive i got two crew necks got this really nice butter one this one goes with this top um looks really cute on i started before with some just jeans um, and then i got this like nice dark gray obviously have crew necks but i don't have basic crew necks so I tend to be having issues with like styling my like Anita Bing ones or my Go Go Green. So this is good to have basic crew necks. But in my second bag, I got um, two puffer jackets. This is the first one. It is a lovely grey colour. Why does it look blue? It's not blue. Love. Looks like that. Then I also got a black one. Um, love puffer jackets. However, I'm really picky with my puffer jackets and I thought these are my vibe. I have a black Uniqlo one that I usually wear all the time, but I hate it now. I got those two because they look really good and perfect for wit. My dog is so annoying. Good morning, guys. I don't know what you can see in terms of underneath my top right now, but um, it is Friday morning. I want to update you guys. I didn't go out last night. I had too much work to get done in terms of uni and work work. 
this work. So I'm currently getting ready for the Jacquemus event. This is the fit check. My top is from Lulella Swim and it is so bloody cool. The pants are Henny. I got them literally the warehouse sale, but they go really well with this top. And then I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton croissant bag. I'm gonna go get ready now. Like as in I'm gonna do my makeup and like a bit more of my hair, just fix it up a little bit. On another note, I've sussed my makeup drawer that I've like really redone and like made it all nice and neat again. I've got like everything in sections. So I've got like primers, foundations, and like concealers and BB creams. We've got translucent powders, my primers for my face and my eyes, setting spray, my sponges. This is all blush and bronzers. Favorite lip products from in here missing because they're in my handbag. But got some lip balms and lip liners and lipsticks in here. Can you? Okay, so eyebrows. So this is all the different eyebrow things. This is like my favorite eyebrow thing at the moment. It's from Nude Sticks. And then my mascaras and some eyeliners and my curler. Those are all my eyeshadows. This is my favorite eyeshadow of all time, Luna. Um, last year I tried my best when I was ever in Mecca to find this shade and it was always sold out. It looks purple there, but it's like this iridescent, like beautiful sheen. And I put it on my eyes and it just gives you a pop of something. Okay, hi guys. So I finished my hair and makeup. This is what it looks like. Now I'm just waiting for Jay to get here. Um, probably gonna make some TikToks. And then I'll see you guys probably when Jay's here or when we're about to leave. So yeah. Bye. Hi guys. Hey Brussels sprouts. Don't call them that. <laughs> so we're currently in the Uber on the way to the launch. And we're very excited. Yes. Apparently we get a um, Jacquemus bouquet. So we're getting there around like 11 30-ish. That's good timing. 11.38-ish? I don't know. Started at 11. Like we didn't need to get there right at 11. It wasn't like an entry type thing. So we're pretty good for time. I'm scared that I'm going to be tempted to buy something. Oh, oh shit. I didn't even think about that. Maybe. So I, I convinced you I did the acne scale. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Which it is, is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It is. Like... Oh, have my legs look so pale. But like, have you seen anyone with a skirt like that? I haven't. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go and we're gonna check back in once we get there. I'll do little clips if I don't get too um, camera shy in public vlogging. Okay, bye now. You know what we need to do? <laughs> That is so cute. And then we've got the wall. The wall of fame. So, I'm, vlogging, so I'm vlogging in front of people and I've never done this before in my life. Yeah. Really pretty. Stop it. Okay, bye guys. Nice. Bye. My god. So I just got home from the Jacquemus Harold's um, launch and beautiful flowers. We got the cutest thing ever, and I'm so excited to put them into a vase. Currently, I am trying to make myself. It looks that looks so ratchet. Oh my god! Okay, so it's just stock. So everyone, calm down. Um, so I'm trying to make myself some like noodle dish. I just realised that I don't have bok choy. Since I like can't find. My bok choy. Well, we don't have any bok choy. We have the lettuce, but like, would that taste shit? I feel like that would taste bad. Anyway, so I've got some prawn and chive dumplings, and I had them last time. I made myself some wonton soup. I'm in that weird feeling where I feel sick, but I know I'm not feeling sick. I just haven't nurtured my body yet with some food. So I'm in that awkward, hungry, sick phase, and I hate it. I am also gonna Apple. I want to have substance. I want to have different vibes. I want to have a, an array of things. I'm currently having an English breakfast. Is it anyone else's pet peeve and like pet hate when you go to want to have a nap and like you're exhausted from a big day and say you're out doing something or you're working all day and you come home around five each or six and you just want to go straight onto your bed and just lay your head but you have a full face of makeup on, and then you fuck up your bed sheets. 
and it's happened to me one too many times and it's so rude. So I'm chucking in the noodles now. It's wicked. That's nice and cold. <gasps> yes. Just got an email from Elias May. They have some really sick shoes coming. Like, you know when you just really feel like water? Good morning, you guys. So today is Saturday morning. Um, I'm leaving for Flinders today. Just trying to set my hair as much as I can. No, I'm gonna go to Dan Murphy's first and then I'm gonna fill up. I need to go to Dan Murphy's because I need to buy myself some drinks for tonight. So this is what I'm wearing. Oh my God. Oh my god, don't mind the state of me, I'm, I'm hungover. So, I'm a little hungover, um, I feel fine, I'm just tired and feeling just exhausted, like I've had a really busy week. So now I'm going to have a sleep, I'm going to have a snooze, I'm going to end the vlog here. So I'm going to go to sleep now and I'm going to close off this vlog. And I leave for Byron this Friday, so you guys will hopefully be getting a Byron vlog as well. Anyway, yeah, so see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.